I hope this is not a trap room that we're in. Hello, all of you horror freaks out there. This is the Strange Monkey. Right back at you with another horror movie review. The first of 2019. I got my boy, Cisco once again. It's been a while. You may remember him from the Alien Covenant review, the greatest oh, God. <laughs> The greatest film of all time. Uh, it's as if every time we come together for a review, we have to talk about terrible movies. Not saying this movie was terrible, but it could have been better. We got more reviews on the way together. Just Some have been locked in the vault. My vault. There's no dead bodies in there or anything like that. I don't believe you. You don't have to. So, Escape Room. It's a 2019 film with all of these... Talented actors, I don't know their names. Uh, I think one of them was in Daredevil. Yeah. Yes, the okay. The half love interest. Yes, the love interest. Anyway, so what's this movie about? Break it down for us, my friend. Well, the movie is basically, you know, a movie that you would have guessed how it went. You know, it was about six people. Who needed to, who went through a series of rooms to escape to, you know, save their own lives. It's like, you know, Saul, Jigsaw, Batman's Barry Q, movies like that. Basically, they receive an invitation, which is like a puzzle box type of thing. More difficult than the configuration box from Hellraiser. <laughs> Not even, <laughs> it's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm like, they spent hours trying to figure this shit out. Anyway, they have to go to this building. And they're instructed to go there, wait, and all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. Well, not breaking loose, all hell just starts to unfold <laughs> as they sit there in an office building. And they realize, oh shit, this is the escape room. So we have Amanda, Zoe, Danny, Mike, Jason, and Ben all together trying to figure all of this out. There are puzzles and it's, it's, it's very intense, ladies and gentlemen. The thing about this movie is that that really this like not necessarily dislike, but it had like the whole cliche thing. You already knew who was going to die, because the movie has backstories on three specific characters. Um, and then the other three they didn't have any backstory. So you already knew right away you what was gonna going to happen. Your, at throw, that point. your throwaway characters, I guess you could say, right? I mean that's basically it. Now I'm not, not to say that this movie was bad or anything. I enjoyed the movie for what it was, you know? They had some cool, clever traps, you know? Um, there was a little bit of chemistry between the characters. I, I want to say a little bit of character development, would you say? It was like some... Between certain characters, I, I'd say. It was a little bit uh, character development as far as in um, what happened to get them there. Yes. Um, they hinted right. in the beginning with those like those little stories, or if you want to call it backstories, they hinted um, what what has happened to them uh, psychologically um, t to the point where they're they're at the point in their life where yeah. you know. Something happens. Something affects them as the story progresses. Like every single room, there's something in there that affects one of the characters. That's not, I'm not trying to spoil anything, but I thought that was uh, planned out very well. But I want to know who has the money for this? Who is putting together these traps? Who's doing this? Yeah, the movie, it does include like hologram and stuff like that, high technology. So I want to. How this does, because it, it is a company that sets up these escape rooms. So I wonder how they got the backing for it, because they didn't have to spend, none of the, the survivors or the players, they call it, um, had to spend money to get there. They should have just got. I wonder <laughs> what's the finance backing of the company that puts these escape rooms together. They didn't explain any of that, but. You see, if they had. I expected to. If they had Sylvester Stallone in there, like the escape plan. The movie would have been over in five minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so overall, what would you rate this film? Okay. The movie was on its way to maybe a six or a seven out of ten until the fourth act, the last act. I thought the movie fell flat on its face. 
Um, I didn't like the ending at all. And if you guys watch it, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it just the ending. The ending just killed it for me because it, it, it sequel baited. It definitely sequel baited. I saw it coming. <laughs> I, I did but, see it coming. But I'm gonna have to give it a five out of ten. Okay, that's that's fair. For me, uh, you know, I did see the ending. I well, no, I didn't see it coming. With the way they set it up in the fourth act and everything, you know, after everything that happened, and then this just comes out of left field. I was like, oh, so we're going with this route, okay. But like I said, I thought that there were some cool elements of Saw and Cube and other films, you know, put together, and there were a few creative things. Some, uh, there, they had a few things in that film that were refre that was refreshing. So I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. I think that's that's fair. I'll give it a seven out of ten. So yeah, I thought it was an average film for me. Um, the char the characters were kind of interesting. The ones who did add stories to them, um, but it's just the you already saw what they're going with in in the last in the last act, and uh, it was just a turn off for me. It's like being intimate with a woman. All of a sudden, she wants to stick their finger up your butt. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's not going to please everyone, but for what it is, I thought it was fine. You know, it could have been better, um, but I, would I purchase it on Blu-ray or 4K, whatever? For me? Sure. Probably sure. not. Not me. I, and this is a one and done movie. Yeah. I wouldn't watch it again. That's just me. Anyway, guys, so that's, that's our thoughts on this film. What did you think of Escape Room? Put it in the comments below. Uh, I've been a strange monkey. This is Cisco. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. And have yourselves a good fright. Is the room turning into something? I don't know.